Welcome to lesson three, asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the formation of young ones from one parent. And it is the opposite of sexual reproduction, whereby we had two parents, parents being involved so that we have the male and the female gametes fusing to form an embryo. Uh, in a sexual reproduction, the young one looks alike uh, to the parent. They are the same as the parent. And there are several types of asexual reproduction. We have binary fusion in amoeba. We have spore formation in rhizopath and budding in yeast, among other types. So we begin with binary fusion in amoeba. So binary, bi means two. Then fission is splitting or division. So there are two divisions involved. So this one involves splitting of the original uh, cell into similar cells, uh, which are the daughter cells. The nucleus first divides into two. So the division of the nucleus is called karyogamy, followed by cytoplasmic division known as cytogamy. So this is the parent cell, begins with karyogamy, the nucleus divides into two, followed by cytoplasmic division or cytogamy. How does binary fission occur in amoeba? It occurs when conditions are favorable. That is enough food, favorable pH and temperatures. That is when a mature amoeba splits into two. And the first step is molecular division where molecules are rearranged and used in formation of new cells. The next stage is a mitotic division of the nucleus, uh, the nucleus into two and each has the same number of uh, chromosomes. And we say it, it, mitosis help um, in restoring the same state as the parent uh, cell. Um, that is it. So the number of chromosomes present in the parent cell is the same as the number of cells present in the daughter cells. After the division of the nucleus, what follows is cytoplasmic division. After that, the two, two daughter cells separate from each other. So after that, we move to spore formula formation in rhizopus species. So spore, spore, spore formation is also called sporulation. So if you hear sporulation, it is the same as spore formation. And this one occurs in rhizopus species. So rhizopus is a saprophytic fungus which grow on various types of food like uh, bread, rotting fruit, or any other rotting organic matter. So saprophytism is a type of heterotrophic nutrition which involves um, ingestion or uh, uh, getting nutrients from decaying, dead, decaying organic matter. So these are an, uh, a structure of a rhizopus species. Then we have the vegetative body called the mycelium. So the vegetative body and then it has many uh, structures, branches called the hypha, this hypha. So the horizontal hypha are called stolon, that running across. And then the vertical running up are called sporangiophore. Then sporangiophore swell at the tip to form sporangium when it is one and sporangia when they are many. These sporangia are the ones that are having uh, spores or the reproductive structures. So each sporangium contains a number of spores and as it matures it becomes black in color and when fully mature the sporangium wall burst bah, and releases spores which are distributed by either wind or insects. Now, when these spores land on moisture, 
they germinate and grow into new rhizopas and begin a new generation. So this rhizopas is having rhizoids whose function is absorption and anchorage or holding these species onto the ground, which is the substrate, the, the where, place where they grow. It is just similar to roots in plants. In uh, plants, we move to budding in yeast as another type of asexual reproduction, and budding is a form of asexual reproduction in which a new individual is produced as an extension or bud of the parent and later discharged a self-supporting identical copy of the parent. We say we said a sexual. Uh, the offsprings of a sexual reproduction are similar to those to their parents so this is the parent cell so the cell wall uh, we can say first the yeast under favorable conditions reproduces asexually where a small area of the cell wall of the parent here becomes soft and then protrudes or projects and then it swells out from the parent after that the division of the nucleus into two uh, follows and one of the nuclei falls, moves into the new uh, into the new bud. The bud then grows and forms new cell organelles. So you see each, the, this is the bud, it has its nucleus and it grows uh, and forms its organelles. The bud then separates, it has already separated here. And because budding is so fast, the first bud starts to form even before it separates off from uh, the parent, thus forming a short chain of several cells. That marks the end of our lesson. We summarize with this assignment for uh, you to get uh, better concepts. See you in the next lesson.